Hi everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melody and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Yep, she's here. Thought I'd show you my shirt today. It's one of my favorites. All right, first off, I bought this. I thought this would be good for a DIY later on. I don't have anything in mind, but I know this is gonna be something I'm gonna definitely use for DIY. It's very large. I, that's actually what I liked about it was the size of it. It was so big. I don't think I realized that Dollar Tree was selling patterns. And this was actually by Simplicity. And I grabbed this one because I, I actually have a project I'm going to be working on hopefully soon. I haven't done it yet. And I'm gonna have a lot of extra fabric and I thought I'd make some canvas totes with it later. But yeah, this one's actually pretty nice. It's got a pocket on the side. I thought for $1.25, that's not too bad for a pattern. Although I don't really know how much they charge for patterns nowadays. I also grabbed, well, for the same project, I found these. I've been trying to find these for a while and I've actually, they've been kind of difficult to track down. This was the last one on the shelf too. It's the water soluble marking pencils. And I thought this would, you know, this will be good for me when I'm using my pattern and drawing on the, uh, the fabric that I'll be using. I was really happy that I had found those. I already have some of these, but I went ahead and picked these, can't get the words out. I went ahead and grabbed these when I saw them. They're just the silicone uh, finger protectors, but I feel like the ones I currently have, well, they're a little thinner and these seem a little thicker to me than the ones I have. So I grabbed these can't get my thumb on there. I must have really big fingers. How about this one? There we go. It's a little tight, but it'll do. So, and you know what? Does anyone else have that problem? Like, I seem to misplace them. I don't know. They always end up showing up later. Okay, and then I found this Spick and Span. It's an antibacterial cleaner. I've seen this in the stores before, but I just never picked it up. Well, I saw this and then I saw this and I was like, well, I'm grabbing the, I'm grabbing the refill. So I thought I might as well go ahead and grab it. And I, I really do like using these types of things for the bathroom. Just, you know, get the toilets all nice and clean. And I thought this was a good buy. I saw these. Now I've not seen these in the stores recently. So when I did find them, I thought I'd better grab them. And I really do like them. They're very, um, I'm saying um a lot. Don't know why, apologize. They're just convenient. I have some silicone ones, but these are just, you know, really nice too. I actually like these better than the silicone because these, you know, they're a little more stretchy and they'll fit over more, more things. I hope that made some sense to you guys. And also, you know, you can reuse them. You just wash them out and air dry them. And there are, oh, there are 17 in there. All right, this next one, this next item is a little, I guess it's a little early, but I sort of feel like the store might have already had it in their back room and they just forgot to put it out. I mean, I don't know, has anyone seen their back rooms? Like they have boxes and boxes just piled in their back in their back room, storage room, whatever you call it. But um, here's the item. It is a votive holder. It's orange with black webbing for Halloween. And I can't remember if this was a last year's item but I'm pretty sure that this was out last year, right? You guys will tell me if I'm wrong. I, they had they had a bunch of them on the shelf and I was like, I'm grabbing one. I don't know why I didn't think to get it last year, but that's if they had it. 
But yeah, I thought that I would grab this while I saw it. I, I just don't think they're putting Halloween out this early. I do think that it's like a box they found randomly in their storage room. And because uh, as we all know, they got a lot of inventory in those stores. Oh, this next item. My next item is this, the emergency vitamin C. It has two packets in there. And if you look, the date, the dating on this is actually very good. So I was pretty excited to find this. I threw this in the cart and guess what? I found this. And emergency gummies, a whole bottle. There are 45 gummies in here. This is brand name, you guys. I'm sure you guys already know that, but I'm just like, it's brand name. <laughs> so excited. And then here, are the ingredients. So where the other one was just vitamin C, this has all of these other ingredients on here. And guess what? The date is good. Where's the date? It always takes me a minute. <laughs> oh, the date is at the bottom and it's 224. So I feel like that's a pretty decent date where I had bought something earlier those little green gummy things I bought, those expire in June. I think June or July. Those those expire just a few months after I purchased them. Well, this one, you know, I've got at least six months here. So it's not exactly six months, but I'm rambling. But it's got a good date. <laughs> so I thought this was a I thought this was a really good a good buy. But yeah, I always like it when I find something brand name. It just it blows my mind that I got this for $1.25 and it was something I actually needed because my husband, like I said, he's getting over, a, he's getting over a cold right now. I've also got this. I think, I think this is the brand storage essentials. It's just like a little, um, over the door hanging thing, hanging hook. And it's got these hooks. So you've got four up here and then you've got four down here. It's a little smaller than some of the other ones I've seen them, you know, have before, but I actually like, that's what I like about this one. And it actually, it feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel too flimsy to me. Let's see, the dimensions are uh, 8.78 inches by 6.89. Grab that. All right, my next item is a snack item. And I actually, you know, I went into the store hungry and you know, you probably shouldn't go in hungry, but I did. It's inevitable. Well, I have a thing for Pringles. And if anyone hasn't noticed, the price of Pringles has really gone up. At least I think so. So I found these. They had a whole shelf of them and I thought I would try them out. I'm going to try them out right now. Okay, so first off, they seem a little smaller than the Pringles. Can you guys see that okay? They're a little smaller. I wish, I guess I should have gotten some Pringles to uh, compare them to, but I, I refuse to pay the Pringles price now. <laughs> I mean, I remember when you could get them for like a dollar or a dollar 25, but now, you know, you can't even get that. They're not terrible, but yeah, they're just not. They're not like the Pringles. I don't hate them, but I won't be buying them again. They're a little thicker than the Pringles. Like Pringles are a little more light and airy. These seemed a little thicker. And I didn't like the flavoring as much as I do for the sour cream and onion on the Pringles brand. So darn it. If I'm wanting Pringles, I might have to pay the Pringles price. It was worth a shot. I also grabbed this sink strainer. I'm sure this is something they've had there for a while, but I just decided this time around I wanted one. Help catch some of the stuff out of the kitchen sink. I try not to put too much down my garbage disposal. I know then you're thinking, well, why do you have it? It's just the way I am. I grabbed one of those. Oh yeah. Have you, okay, have you guys seen this? It's, I know they've always had, I know they've had Floral Wild floral wire in the past, but
but this wire is a little, it looks a little different to me and they actually had it in different colors. I think I saw pink, blue, gold, and silver. I think it was pink and blue, but I did grab this because I thought this would be really good for crafting. It has a hundred feet. Yeah, and it's a 26 gauge. I thought this would come in handy for certain, you know, for certain crafts. All right, they had t-shirts. Now I know this is something they have off and on. Let me go back. I know this is something that they have off and on. I grabbed the 2XL and I thought these would be great for when I do my cricketing because I like to make t-shirts, you know, just, I like to just randomly make a t-shirt whenever I get, get in the mood. And I grabbed two of them. I did grab two. I mean, for $1.25, that's not bad. For $1.25, this really isn't bad. And I do like to, when I do find that they have t-shirts, I do like to grab them. And I, I don't have like a bunch of them, but I do keep a few stored in my cabinet here because, like I said, for crafting. Let me see what this is made of for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Oops. There we go. It's 100% cotton, which is fine by me, which is, that's why I like the 2XLs because, you know, they do shrink. So, yeah, I was pretty excited to find these. Like I said, I like to keep a stash of them for when I do some crafts and whatnot. For my next item, I found this Derma Geek Facial Wash. I believe this is a brand name. I was a little, oh yeah, it is by Procter and Gamble. Do you guys see that? Is that, that is P and G, right? So yeah, this is a brand name. I believe Target sells it. I got this for $1.25. They, they also had a serum, but I chose not to get the serum. I went with this because, you know, facial wash is always something, you know, something I always need. And here's what it has on the back. I was, I was pretty excited when I saw this. I almost bought the serum, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to use it. I know me. So I chose to go ahead and just grab this one instead. Because I know I'll use this. It's fragrance free and sulfate free. Here are my final items. I know more, more lip care, but I couldn't believe this. I don't know if this is brand name or not, but these will look so fun that I had to get them. So this one here is it's a lip balm. I'm going to, I'm just going to rip it open. This is a s'more. Is this s'more flavor? Oh yes. This is a s'mores, a s'mores lip balm. It does say it's cruelty free. The container that it's in, it's like a, uh, it's, it doesn't feel plastic. It's like that, you know, that paper, like that hard kind of paper and even the lid. Oh, I'm just noticing it's cruelty free and vegan. And I think that this, like this container can be recycled. It feels like it's like made out of like a cardboard or I can't describe it really well, but it, it feels like it's made out of a cardboard. How do you get it up? Oh! How did I do that? Okay, well. <laughs> well, while trying to figure out how to get it to go up, I, I ended up poking this because I didn't, like I couldn't, it wasn't turning. I don't know what I was doing. I poked it and the whole thing came out. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> so let me okay I'm thinking that's how you're supposed to do it so I'm not real sure but I think that you're supposed to be that's how you do it you slowly you slowly push it up I could be wrong by the way because I did just break it so we'll just see oh another one hold on 
So I have another one that I bought some time ago. It has a magnet on it because I keep it on my whiteboard. But this one, it turns up. But this one didn't really have that option, did it? No, this is the cap. Oh, see, there I go with that. So yeah, I think that's what you do is you're supposed to slowly push it up with your finger. I could be wrong again. So this is in the s'mores flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't really smell like s'mores to me, but it doesn't smell bad. It smells more, it's gonna sound weird. It smells a little on the fruity side, but what fruit I couldn't tell you. All right, <laughs> I know I'm terrible at these descriptions. I'm really sorry about that. Um, oh, I also grabbed this Macron lip lip stain and this, ooh, and a caramel brulee flavored lip scrub. And I thought that this packaging was really pretty. I like how they have the gold. And these, both of these are both, both of these are also cruelty free and vegan. And I just thought, I just thought that the packaging was so pretty. Let's open up the lip scrub. Hmm. Here we go. Here's the lip scrub. Okay, so it's a little on the, it's like a paste, like a hard paste. That's not too bad. And this actually smells very good. This, to me, this smells like creme brulee. And then this one here, let's open up this one. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that okay? This actually smells pretty good too. And it says this is a lip stain. I thought I'd go ahead and share with you a couple of the items I purchased from Dollar Tree more recently that I'm really liking. I do like most of the items I buy from Dollar Tree, but these two are really standing out to me. This face mister, I'm really liking it. And actually there was a viewer that said that she uses it for hot flashes. And I was like, that is a brilliant idea. Not just for that, but like, when you're hot outside, just put a little bit of cold water in there and you can just kind of mist your face. And I know you could use a spray bottle, but this is a little more on the subtle side, if you know what I mean. So this is one of my favorites. And another one, this. I think I showed you in my last video where I, where I had cleaned the ring around my sink and that really polished it up. I've used other products on there, like Bon Ami and Barkeeper's Friend. It cleans it, but it didn't clean it that good or doesn't clean it that good. Now this cleaning paste works great on the little marks I get on my sink as well. And I have to tell you, I mean, you can see I've been, I've been using this. This is definitely something I'm gonna try and keep on hand. I need to, I need to get more, you know, I, I like to at least have like one I'm using and then a ba one backup. Well, I need to go back and get more, but I haven't been able to find it. I think what's happened is people have found it and they all bought them up. And you know what? I can't blame them because this stuff is great. I've never used the pink stuff personally, but I've heard a lot about it. And for me, this is, I'll probably just continue to buy this if I can. So here are two of my favorite items that I'm really, really enjoying right now. If you guys have any questions about any of the items you've seen me haul, whether it's Timu or Dollar Tree or anywhere else I might have shopped, although we all know I mostly go to Dollar Tree and Timu. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I really do enjoy you know, chit-chatting with you in the comments. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.
Well, it looks like little Miss Gidget has fallen asleep on us. Hi. Hi. That's a rare treat, huh? Yeah? Okay.